All right, so we have a very exciting new feature called Attributes, which essentially allows you to more easily waterfall different data providers. So let me give some quick background first. Um, you know, without Clay, what you might do is you'll have a list of leads. You might upload that list to one email provider. You might find 70%, and then you'll have to upload that list to another email provider. You might find 30% there, and you'll have to keep uploading that list to more email providers until you complete your list. Now, Clay already, and since you know the inception, has made that easier because you can use multiple different data providers in one place. So you'll see if I go to enrichments and I click on emails, you know we have the Tagma, we have Clay enrichments, we have Nimbler, Snow, People Data Labs. There are a ton of different things that you can access uh, all in one Clay table. Now we've made it even better to utilize all of them because what you probably have seen happen before is you add one email integration and then you'll see, okay, there's no emails found for two of these rows. So um, it's still a lot better than the initial process, but what you would no normally have to do is add your second email provider and then let's add a conditional formula to only run if an email was not already found. So it's still pretty quick, but we wanted to make this even better um, and an absolutely seamless process. And so we've added something called attributes. And I'm gonna first just show it off with the work email. Uh, attributes is essentially a way you can waterfall multiple different data providers all at the same time. So you won't have to add rows on, uh, you won't have to add columns uh, individually. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize three different email providers, Clay, the Tagma, and Hunter. Uh, and then we're also actually going to add in People Data Labs as well. So then all I need to do is map the inputs like I normally would. So I'm gonna map the name of the person. I'm going to add in the company name, which is here. And lastly, the company domain. So what will happen is when I click save and run first 10 rows, multiple columns will be created. And you'll see if the email was found as it was in the first case with the first integration, none of the other integrations are gonna run. So you are not gonna be reusing credits to run additional integrations. However, if the uh, email was not found from the first integration, we will then actually run um, the following integrations to then find their email. So you'll see uh, in this case, it was the final integration that found it. And this all wraps up into one nice column called a work email where you can see the result of all of the different outputs. So you also won't have to map um, or merge fields on your own. Just to look at attributes one more time as well, we have the same functionality for personal email, um, mobile phone numbers, we have uh, LinkedIn profiles, first name, last name, and so on. Uh, but it's a really great way that you can take advantage of all the data providers that Clay has without having to manually set everything up and add conditional formulas. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to us and let us know, but we hope you enjoy it. Thanks.